Welcome to Tarot Therapy on a Tuesday. And our topic today is the black dog of depression. And it's a pretty big topic. So I hope you will help me with this. If anyone is there, say hi. Hi, Kalyani. Oh, thank you for being here. Um, and the reason that I wanted to explore this today with the cards and with you guys is because about a week or so ago, I really felt really low in myself and I felt like the black dog of depression in the corner and it was kind of constant and with me. And I just thought that maybe, you know, some of you guys might be experiencing this or have experienced it. I know that I suffered from depression for a long time when I was at university in my kind of early twenties. And luckily I was able to come through that. And now I can recognize when, you know, periodically when that, that heaviness starts to, starts to come back. So let me know if you guys have experienced that. And the black dog of depression, it really interests me, that expression. I know that Churchill kind of coined it, but I think it goes back a lot further than him, this black dog in the room. It's kind of like something that is almost like, I think, hidden from us, or we can't quite kind of grasp. Um, and yeah, so I looked up online, let me just see if I've got it here, his actual quote. And he said, I don't like standing near the edge of a platform when an express train is passing through. I like to stand right back and if possible, get a pillow between me and the train. I don't like to stand by the side of a ship and look down into the water. A second's action would end everything. A few drops of desperation is, um, is this black dog of sadness that he talks about. And yeah, what are your guys, what do you take from the meaning for of depression? Has anyone got anything to say? What do you think depression is about? What is what happens to us? If you have any comments, just let me know. But um, my own understanding is that depression is like a, a low mood um, and a heaviness and unhappiness. I think with me, I get anxiety as part of that like overwhelm um, and feeling really helpless to be able to do anything. And just, just apathy, like just not really feeling joy in anything, just like wanting to just be in bed and just hidden from the world. Um, I think low self-esteem can be part of that. Real heaviness, tiredness, fatigue that comes as part of that. And just like this, just feel a feel I think it's like a feeling of loss or, or emptiness and yeah so I was wondering what the cards would show us I think tarot cards are a really powerful way it's a useful tool in therapy um, to be able to kind of visualize and show us out on a table kind of the themes that we're dealing with or sometimes even like what's hidden from us I think with depression it can it can be so scary because you just don't really know what what is going on um thankfully I was I was able to evade depression this last week um what happened was it was around the summer solstice and a few of my friends and I got together and we did a haiwariki, which is like an offering, like a dispatcher, an offering to nature. And we poured in there kind of how we were feeling and our heaviness. And also we, um, we looked at our worthiness at the same time. And then we made a beautiful offering of flowers. And then I, I, I released that out to sea and I, I felt the heaviness while this offering was still in my house, ready to be released. I. Uh, yeah, I really felt the heaviness of it. I was going to share you a picture of this offering, but anyway, I can't find it. Um, and so I took it out into the ocean and swam and all of the petals went all over the, the surface of the sea and I was able to swim in amongst them. 
Um, and it just gave me just such a sense of relief and joy. I felt connected to nature and I felt that joy back and I've been okay since then. Let me just see, just bear with me. Let me see if I can share with you. Okay, so I've got a picture of when I was swimming in the sea with this offering that hopefully you guys can see here. So this is, this is all the, there's Merlin in the background. And these are all the beautiful flowers and the offering that we put together. And then as it sunk, all the flowers were floating. And so, yeah, it was, uh, it was really beautiful. So, let us consult the cards and let me know. Oh, I think I've got some comments. Five of Cups. Yeah, Kalyani, I agree. Five of Cups is really powerful about how we're so, we've got that like cloak, like hidden and in grief. And we're just looking, we're not able to see what we've got behind us, can we, in that card? It's a really powerful card. I think also like the nine of swords is also a really powerful card for depression and being kept up at night or, or even the star reversed, you know, that numbness of, of no hope and hopelessness. Oh yeah, thank you Kalyani for sharing. I think so many of us can relate to this feeling of depression. So I'm just gonna shuffle the cards. And we're just gonna ask the cards for meaning for depression. What's at the root of it? Anything that's kind of hidden from us. And then perhaps some advice, because this could even be where you know of someone or even a loved one who is suffering from depression and you've, you could be feeling helpless. How do, you, how do you help them? And yeah, I don't have the answers, but I'm just wondering whether the cards might give us some insights. So dear cards, please reveal the cards that will give us most meaning for the subject of depression. And just let me know any other feelings, if you've experienced depression or can see it, what is your understanding? And so our first card to give us meaning for the subject of depression, oh, is actually the seven of swords. So that's interesting. Swords, being of the mind. And so let's just come together to connect in with this card. What do you... What do you feel about this card? Just breathing your awareness deep into the belly and sensing your out breath out into the card and the images. What meaning can we glean from this card about depression, about this black dog of depression? I'm getting a sense of the coldness, that numbness of depression, this kind of ice, icy feeling of being alone and isolated, of not really being able to ask for help. I think that's one of the big themes of, of depression when you're when you're in it. There's it's like you just want to hide away from, from the world. There's there's nothing really anyone can do, I don't think. And I'll keep a watch if there's any comments of what comes through to you from this card. What can we glean as to get a better understanding of depression? And I think the black crows, I think this, this like how scary it is to be in that position when you're experiencing it, how you might be crying out for help, but there is, it's like this feeling of 
something's being stolen from you, your, your hope, your love for life is just taken from you. It is like this thief in the night. And I think nighttime it can really, or even mornings, you know, like waking up with that heaviness of it. It's like that similar feeling to grief, I think as well, just waking up with that, like kind of feeling it. I don't know about you guys, how it comes, how it comes for you. And so let us look now to what's perhaps at the root of depression. What is hidden from us? And we have an interesting card here. We have the seven of pentacles. And so just connecting in with this card, what is buried beneath? Depression for us. And I think this card speaks to, it does speak to kind of the depths of depression and how things are like hidden from us. It's like also, I think a time, oh yes, Kalyani, the moon comes up a lot with, with people that are suffering from depression. Yeah, I've, I've seen that too. I think it's, what do you take from that meaning? I think the moon card is, is like that. It's a very frightening time, isn't it, with the moon? It's that time of, of really not knowing where you stand, of lunacy almost, you know, that kind of mental instability, um, mental suffering. And so coming back to the seven of pentacles, what can we take as a wider meaning? What, what is perhaps hidden from us in terms of our understanding of depression? I mean, I get quite a hopeful feeling here that actually when you are in depression, it is this time where it's like that dark womb space, even if we flip this on its head, can be that time of the hermit, of going into yourself, of these seeds or what's really important to you is all that's, is all that's left. And and about perhaps a time where great growth can come from experiencing depression, from going through that. If you can, if you can keep going and come through it, then perhaps great creativity can come from it. You know, I mean, Churchill is such an inspiring person to everyone, and he suffered greatly from depression and was able to inspire the masses, was so creative with his words. And I wonder how much actually this time of depression kind of gave to that. And then when you come through it, how much gratitude you have and how you really want to hold on to like a lust for life. Like um, you don't, like I have a fear of, of being dragged back into that space of where you, you just give up and you can't find any hope or any joy in anything it's so scary um so i don't know if anyone else has any experience um any feelings about this card just see in the comments hi emma hi tamsin hi tracy <laughs> and so what's hidden beneath depression what underlies this. I'm just getting that sense of, you know, everything that's beneath the earth that we cannot see. And that life is happening, even though we don't even feel it. It's just getting through that, that time. 
And so any advice on how to like help yourself if you're experiencing depression, we've got the ace of wands. And again, such a card of, of hope of like one of new beginnings. So I guess it speaks of like when you're in this kind of incubator or dark space of depression, like what can come, what can come out of this, what can help to come out of this is the ace of one. So perhaps this is even, I don't know if on a practical level, like I know going out into the sea and swimming, that was like, a, it kind of also shocked my system. You know, I mean, the water is quite warm, but it, it is that you're going from one, from one environment into another. And I know the sea is deeply healing, like the, the saltiness of the sea for, for grief and for, for tears. Um, I really feel a resonance with the sea with that. And I think also the sea, I think it has like positive ions, doesn't it? To, that does kind of change us biologically. Um, so an ace of wands could be like an action, like what can, is there something that can break us out? of the state that we're kind of caught in, we're trapped in. Light a candle. Oh, I love that, Kalyani, yes, light a candle. So if you have no hope within you, then light a candle. I don't know if that's what you were meaning, but like to externalize and also to connect, connecting with another element. So I was talking about connecting in with the sea, which of course we're made of the element of water, but also connecting in with the element of fire that we're made of. And yeah, I love that. Um, I think also just doing, like getting the body moving, if at all possible. I mean, it's easy for me to say this now that I've come, that I've evaded that recent kind of um, encounter with depression. Um, so I think this is just more what you can take for yourself, but <clears throat> I think moving the body, even in some kind of like, um, just some dance with some music, it doesn't have to be a choreographed dance, but just moving, just moving, feeling into music. Um, walking in nature, running. I know what helped me greatly was also taking trips to new places, ace of ones, ace being new, new things, new beginnings. So going somewhere new and taking a walk and often getting lost. This was with my last dog and, and we would get to a point where we would always leave, get ourselves lost on a walk in the Peak District at the time. <laughs> and we come to like even more despair. So it doesn't sound very, very positive, but through that, it's kind of like we did a journey and we came through it. And I think little things like that, just some little things where we can feel like we can get through them. And actually this morning I was on the beach and there's this charity for um, people from the military that are suffering like post-traumatic stress. Um, and it's a paddle boarding charity and they go out on paddle boards into the sea. And so they're, they're on something safe, but they're also encountering nature and encountering like a fear of being out in nature and overcoming it in these little small ways um, can help them to feel in control again. Perhaps that's also another thing about depression. You feel so out of control. And so anything where can just give you that feeling of achievement or or being able to overcome or work through something perhaps that's what i don't know what you guys think um if you have any more thoughts on i'm useless with technology so i have to keep coming out to go back in again flame fire of meditation hi tracy yes kalyani thank you fire of meditation that time of depression is actually you have all that time i mean i i can't say when i was at university i don't think i made much use of it other than just to sleep and just to feel despair and just to try and push myself out of bed to go and do something um but i'm sure it was a really creative time and if I had the tools that I have now like of meditation like you say or of these these offerings that you can give to connect in with nature then 
or even just the understanding that you are connected with nature, that you have got support, you're not on your own, I think is really powerful. And so lastly, I know that this is going on a bit longer, is how um, a card just to show like, how could you help someone that you love who's, who's experiencing depression? Is there anything? Oh, eight of wands. What do you guys think to this? And how you can help? I mean, I'm getting a sense of urgency with this card. I mean, I've always thought that someone else can't really help you with depression. But again, it's wands, isn't it? We have the ace of wands and similar colors here. I think that. Noticing that flame, Kalyani, like you were saying, it's kind of around the third eye as well, perhaps for meditation. And the, the ones is like, it's action, it's energy. Maybe these are like little things that someone can do to just help bring back laughter or just small little acts to help bring back movement. <clears throat> I guess this is movement is what I was just talking about from the cards. Oh, bye, Kalyani. Thank you. Thank you for your input. It's been brilliant. Um, movement, like perhaps that is something that we can help others with or help ourselves with is just to create the sense of movement because depression is such a stagnant state, isn't it? Where you're, you're stuck and you don't want to move. You have inertia and apathy. And so eight of ones is getting that movement and, and it's really difficult to do it for yourself so even if someone just goes like oh I'm going to do some spontaneous dance or something come and join me or I'm going to go for a swim in the sea come and join me um or I'm going to go for a run you know I don't know whatever you feel that you could help someone else get some movement or even just call them up and make them laugh or um just show like do, I think this is a card of action. It's like, it is do something, which surprises me. I've always kind of thought, um, you know, no one could help me with it, but I think, I think they can. And I'm thinking back, there have been people that, that did do like little, little acts of just call, even just calling me up and just saying hi, or leaving a message if I couldn't, just didn't have the will to answer and was just hiding away. Just little things of also inspiring things, showing like what, what, what you're doing that can maybe inspire. I mean, definitely, I'm sure anything like preachy or anything's not gonna work or help, but it's just kind of like, this is what I'm doing, come and join me. Um, and in a way that they can, you know, at the, at the level that they can, can join in. And eight, I mean, eight, such a powerful number. We've moved from the seven, the kind of, again, movement, the sevens, we have two sevens seven of swords and seven of pentacles and moving into the eight. And the eight is also a number of karma, of, of cycles. You know, depression is a cycle of even just having, and now looking back on it, I could tell myself this time around when I was feeling low, I could say, it's just a phase, it's a cycle, it's okay. I can transport myself beyond it. Um, and like walk, walk beyond it, even when I'm in it. Um, I think maybe that's the significance of a reaching for something, Lucy. Hi, Lucy. Do you mean with this, the eight of wands? Yeah, I can see that. It's like reaching, like reaching for something higher, just being able to try and keep that, that flame alive. You know, like when you're trying, there's like a lot of wind trying to blow a candle out and you're just trying to keep that flame going or, or even when in those like, um, what am I thinking? You know, like the sanctuaries or places where they have a flame and they keep it going for like years and they tend to that flame and just being nurtured and tended to, like maybe being cooked for when you can't cook for yourself or, um, yeah, little, little acts. It, it is saying here to do acts. And this reminds me as well, I was, I don't know why I'm pointing at you, but um, I was watching um, an interview with a woman who, who was grieving and had lost her husband and her children in a car accident and how she was saying 
that it's really unhelpful when people were saying to her, I'm here for you, let me know what you need me to do. Because I think when you're in depression or grief, you don't know what to ask for. You don't know how to ask for help. And so like what she was saying is just do something, just do, even if it's just a tiny thing, just do something. Um, and that can help so much. Um, straining, yeah, Lucy, straining. So I think, um, explain that a bit more, I'm not sure. I understand, but definitely reaching. Um, yeah, I don't know if this has helped. I hope it has. It's been really lovely being here with you guys. I'm just gonna check in again in case there's any more messages. And it's such a big topic that, you know, I'm sure we can revisit it again and, and pull your own cards. If you just pull a card for like the meaning, the depression for you, the kind of what's hidden behind it or make up your own spread. Um, and then also just get some advice. And I've really enjoyed kind of broadening my own perspective on this and perhaps being able to give you know, when people ask, what can you do? Like, I know my mum, she's always asking, like, what can I do, you know, when I go through things? And now I can maybe give an idea of just do something, just whatever it is, what comes to mind. Um, when I lost my dog, my mum was with me and she would make me, I couldn't eat anything and she would make, make me feel tearful. She would make me this fruit salad in a bowl and it was just beautiful. And I hadn't asked for it, but it was just something that I could eat uh, with cream, lots of cream on it. And that was just really helpful. So <laughs> anyway, I'm ending this on tears. So I don't know why I've got so emotional with this. <laughs> of course, whenever we think of our dogs, um, there is uh, so much grief still. And, oh, Lucy, I've seen your message. So playing off or oh, going back to eight of wands. So straining, playing off of your urgency and changes. I think that it's a strain to change. Maybe, yes, there is a bit of a delay, Lucy. I think it's just the technology. Um, there's a strain to change. Yeah, I think it's, it's so hard, isn't it? You know, like to get out of depression. It's like, I don't know if you guys have seen the never ending story when Atreyu is in the swamp with, uh, with his horse and they're just trying to take one step at a time and the swamp is just engulfing them. And it's just so difficult. It's so difficult to, to move um, when you're in that amount of, it's like, I also think depression is like something that almost takes over me. It's like, it's, this is not me. <laughs> it's just like, it's like that swamp that I'm like, I'm sinking into. So yeah, thank you, Lucy. That's really helpful. Um, and it's given me a chance to uh, <laughs> to breathe and uh, and stop crying for a second <laughs> to see if there's anything else. Um, right. Thank you, everyone. That was really beautiful. Um, and I'm sending you all so much love and. Yeah, reach out on the group if you need any help, if you need a few cards pulling for you. Um, we can come together as a group and help each other. And I'm sending you all so much love. Bye.